Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Dead or Alive. My name is Taylor Two Wavy and we are here for episode 17. <laughs> so, oh, actually before I start this, make sure you obviously like this video and subscribe to this channel, please, for me. All right, so the guests we have this week, y'all. Okay, so my favorite body butter in the entire world. <laughs> and it's... <laughs> It's literally empty because I use it all the time. No, I didn't want to bring the other ones. Because <laughs> my mom literally uses it. My parents, my brothers, my cousins, my friends all use this. Ignore. I really like the jar, and I did bring the empty <laughs> one. But it was mostly because I didn't want to get jugged off the one that was full. For sure. You feel me? For sure. Um, no, <laughs> but her product, Gentle, was featured on... Um, Forbes via Kourtney Kardashian's I love Kourtney Kardashian by the way but her <laughs> blog poosh um she's just an extra awesome human being so it's Kiana how are you doing girl I'm good I'm hot I'm not gonna lie yeah you like slick right tried now. me because I got a jacket on that I did try you did I know you're hot right I'm now. comfortable at least my body temperature has to be like much higher than the normal range okay because it's hot in here and okay. i'm sure that you are about um twice of whatever mine is i don't know no i'm great no <laughs> she's Solid. fine she's good Solid. i love it <laughs> the colors coordinate oh i forgot to mention that these earrings <laughs> <laughs> you reminded me honestly i wouldn't have remembered because no you turned to the side and i was like oh my god she has them on Bro, i love these i wear them all the time I'm trying so hard not to curse. I'm going to curse anyways. But I love these so Safe much. space. They're from Thrill Lobe. They're called Kiana. Like, what are we doing? <laughs> They're like my favorite earrings. I wear them almost every day. But that's my heart. The point. Oh. Yes. You got one more thing to compliment me on. You're two for two right now. I'm screaming. <laughs> I you probably are. will find something else. Okay. It's fine. I do want to know. Yeah. How did you come up with the name Gentle for your Ooh. amazing body butter? We don't have like forever, so I'm just gonna. We do. We have forever in a day. Actually. Um, but the name Gentle is literally a play on. I used to get told like, "Oh, you're so sensitive. You're so soft," and it was like looked at as a weakness. Yeah. And I was like, "But what if my weakness is my superpower?" And then I didn't want it to be just like blatant gentle, yeah. so I looked it up in the dictionary, and it's the phonetic spelling of the word. Oh my god! Yeah, that's excellent. Yeah. I really do love that. That's. <laughs> so awesome mm -hmm. I, I feel that because like I I don't know I grew up very shy mm -hmm. I still am very shy I'm not gonna lie I'm very introverted I don't really like to talk to people which is one of the reasons I started doing this so yeah I would talk to people more yeah. but I love that yeah. story like and how did you know that you wanted to make body butter of all things um it's the finest body butter in the world thank like you. let's be honest like, thank you um honestly I used to play and stuff all the time. Yeah. I'm serious. Like when I was a kid, I would play in dirt. Yes. And I used to, <laughs> sorry, mom. I used to pull the seasonings out of the cabinet. No. Pour no, them in no, a no, bowl no. with like the, you remember the powdered like dish detergent? Yeah. Cut them open and mix everything. No, you didn't. And I would that. mush my hands. At, yes. And I would mush my hands in it. They had to start buying liquid detergent because I would put everything in a bowl and touch stuff. I'm very sensory. Like I that. love it. Yeah, so just like from a kid, always having my hands in something, like mm -hmm. textures have always been really important to me because um, they just make me like feel stuff. Yeah. And I'm a feeler. So. I'm a feeler. Yeah, I'm a feeler. And I like would make like masks and I really geek out about like learning the ingredients and yeah. what things do and formulating your own thing and trying to see what works and what doesn't right. work. I made a deodorant. It did not work. Did. <laughs> no, it didn't work. My friends tried it. I was like, I'm so sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> but um, it got cold one winter and I was living in my first place by myself. Right. And I was like, oh, I want to try to make something. Right. I made it and I didn't really think anything of it. Right. But people tried it. They liked it. And it became like where can I get it? I want some. Da, 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 da. And it just kind of like took off That's from crazy. there. Yeah. Oh my God. It literally melts 
in your hand. Like, I'm trying to figure out what the recipe is because I, too, have tried to make it. You know, butter. I tell everybody <laughs> it goes on as a butter and then it turns into this really beautiful melt. And it's an oil that settles into your skin, not onto your skin. So, yeah. I love that so much. <laughs> you are an icon. I've, I've literally <laughs> bought... I don't know why I'm laughing, but I bought like shea butter from, you know, beauty supply stores and stuff. And yeah. I've always tried to mix it together and it has never hit like. No, I will like, say <laughs> gentle is a gentle is a labor of love. OK, it is hand whipped. I repeat, hand whipped. That that I honestly doing. is the difference, though. It's not like a big machine doing all right. this stuff. It's a person it's a and an <laughs> arm, and that arm be going. I'm yelling. You listen. It's a period. Yeah. Oh, jars. I know you got to make Jesus. I know. But it's because I love people. I love y'all. Thank y'all for loving Gentle Bag. Right. <laughs> I love it. Oh my God. Run us through the inspiration around Gentle, like as a whole. All right. Let's get it. So, get into it. Yeah. If I'm really having this conversation, there was a Gentle before gentle mm -hmm. and you know life it just life was lifing life, life yeah, was yeah. lifing life is currently lifing but we're getting to it um and I when I was younger I had a very difficult time like just owning my voice and being okay with communicating my feelings in a way that honored them right um and so I started like having many concerts in the bathroom <laughs> yeah, and, and, just like, and <laughs> singing to myself. Cause when you take a shower, it's like the most vulnerable literally you are. Like it's just you, it's just you. And I started like vocalizing the things that I was feeling to get them outside of myself. And then being able to hear them back, it allowed me to be more gracious with myself, right. to be softer with myself. And that's where the whole thing came from so gentle really is like an internal conversation that I encourage people to have with themselves because mm -hmm. if you can be honest transparent loving caring endearing with yourself then you can do that in the relationships that you have with other people right oh yeah. my god that's perfect yeah it's so that's perfect. gentle before gentle and then the product ended up becoming the embodiment of all of that oh my gosh yeah. that's so awesome I love it. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so have you? Well, I know we were talking about this earlier, but oh God, have you? What? Uh oh, she's she's nervous. <laughs> <laughs> she's nervous. <laughs> have you thought about the three people that you would meet? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, oh yeah, yeah, she's yeah, yeah. Chilling. She's chilling. She's yeah, chilling now. yeah. All right. Dead or alive, number one, first person. Oh my God, God. I feel like this is like a lot of people's person. <laughs> I swear, it, it is. Good. <laughs> no, it's not Beyonce. God bless her, though. We love Beyonce. <laughs> Everyone, wait. First of all, everybody thinks I am a Beyonce hater. Why? From the video that I, videos that I've sent, I've sighed when people say oh. Beyonce. It's only because people keep saying Beyonce. Oh, no. It was definitely not B. It's Pharrell. Ooh. Wait, yeah. no. Out of all the episodes, no one has said Pharrell. Ever? I'm kind of. And I'm also honored. Yeah, it's Pharrell. Absolutely. I adore Pharrell. Why do yeah. you like Pharrell? I love Pharrell. I feel like he is like oh my God. the embodiment of just everybody needs a Pharrell. Period. Like if Andrew. you can be a Pharrell to your friends, your family, like the world is a much better place. That's so true. <laughs> it is. Like he just has like such an endearing, honest spirit. And I ain't even met the man. Bruh. He's not even a man. He's a spirit that's like among us. And we're He's so blessed to have him here. Literally. Yeah. Have you seen the video of him talking to um Nardwar and he's yeah. asking Nardwar like about his name and he's like I thought when I first looked at it I was like oh is he gonna be mean to him because out there people are like phrasing it. No. And he's just like oh so why is your name Nardwar? Have you seen his drink champs? No. You need to watch his drink champs. Yeah. After this that is exactly Get what I'm going that. to look at. Yeah. Oh, have you tried him and Ray's? His, his, uh, I have. You have? Do you like and you it? know, his, it's green. That's my favorite it's, color. <laughs> it's green. I like it, but I also... Okay, so I use it. Yeah. I love it. But I'm trying to finish the products that are currently open That's, and then yeah. moving on instead of trying to like re like introduce new things yeah. into a routine. And be like... Right, because what day. works for me right now works for me and we're yeah. solid. We're good. Heard. Yeah. Okay. okay. But... When I knew or noticed that there was Braille on the packaging, I said, this, I need this, this man 
and his team, whatever, they are other. And I love that so much. I love oh, that. other. Look at that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm trying not to laugh. Every time I laugh, I literally yell into the microphone. So when I'm I, so sorry. When I laugh, my lip curls under. It looks like I don't have a top lip. So I'm trying right. hard not to. <laughs> Speaking of my mom. Never mind. I'm not going to say it. It's okay. She said. Ha, number two. <laughs> um, Number two. Hmm, it's Solange. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love Solange with yeah. all of my being. Yeah. My entire heart. Yes. For sure. I honestly was going to say her third because three is my favorite number, but no, like, that's my girl. She is literally everything. Yeah. Like, how can somebody be, I don't know, I just would really like to sit with Solange and everybody in her team one day and just be like how is she but see that's the thing i don't know if i want to meet her you don't no okay because of like years maybe like since um, right after college mm -hmm. i started realizing like how like drawn to her i was mm -hmm. and it's like i don't fangirl over people right. but i definitely think because of how i view her there's just certain people i feel like maybe i would never want to meet like she walked by me one time and I couldn't say anything. I literally, we were at a festival and she walked by me and my friend was like, Key! And I was like, no. I've seen her. Yes, yeah, like, no, this is great. Like she walked by me, I smelled her, she smelled great. It was good. Oh my God, I'm scared. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I see that. The Table is gonna like forever my album. Literally, yeah. it is, it's just so perfect. Like I just don't understand how somebody can come up with like, I don't know, I've never seen an artist progression that's really goes from like this one thing. Like I liked her other albums too, mm -hmm. but a seat at the table was just like, geez, how did we even get here just now? Like what? And you know how when you what? hear music at a certain like time in your life, yeah. Oof. and it, it just really, <laughs> it just, that and Kendrick Lamar's uh, To Pimp a Butterfly, yeah. they yes. came out like around the same time. Yes. And so where I was in my life, <laughs> I needed all of that, I'm and sorry. it was right on time. Oh my god! Yeah, those are perfect. That is that is really perfect. Salon. And she's so herself. She's, I don't know. She's just everything to me. She's like so like she doesn't try and conform to you know the. I really love it here. I love it. Here. I do. <laughs> Please, I no. feel seen. No, for real <laughs> though. Like I adore. Let me stop fangirling. Okay. I could never meet anybody who I like because I would literally just start crying. It'd be very weird. Like they'd be like, "Yeah, Bitch. I wouldn't really know what to say like, wait, or hi. do." And then like I can get awkward and I'm a little shy sometimes. So like, like oh, what deodorant do you use? Like I don't want to be weird. <laughs> what deodorant? Because do you, you don't want to be like, oh, I love you so much. Like everybody loves you so much. She can be like, okay, f I, you know. I feel that. Yeah, one hundred percent. All right, all yeah. right, we're on to number three. Okay. Mm. Mm. Now this one I struggle with. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying so hard not to yell to the mic, but this it, is just how I am. It is Purple Rain himself, though. It's oh, Prince. yes. It's for sure Prince. We love him. And that's an ode to my mom. She adores him. Hi, Mom. Yeah, so Prince, for sure. Prince. Did you grow up listening to Prince? Like, yeah, we were definitely a Prince household more so than a Michael Jackson really? household. Really? Yeah. My mom, so I, don't, I was about to say she's from New York. I don't think that has anything to do with it. <laughs> she grew up loving Prince, and so that's what we heard right. all the time. We did like a Mother's Day thing for her last year. Last mm -hmm. year was the first COVID Mother's Day. Yes. Yes. And we did like a this Purple year, Rain no, movie no, night, like, cool. and she had a ball. She sang all the songs. We made like movie boxes. We got the printer, like the poster printed. Wait. I got purple flowers and put them all over her house. Like she was really happy. Wait a minute. I'm going to have to take that idea. <laughs> it works. My dad is literally obsessed with like the Purple Rain movie. I mean, he loves Prince. Yeah. But he talks about, he's like, he asks me and my boyfriend all the time, have you guys seen Purple Rain? And we're like, uh, one day we said no. We didn't. We Why? hadn't seen it. At that Why point. were we about to watch it for Mother's Day, right? Excuse me. My younger sister goes, oh, I've actually never seen this movie. <laughs> literally me. I'm your Have you sister. been in this house? I was... You was gonna fight. I didn't like it. <laughs> I didn't like it. My dad. I felt disrespected for my mom. Cause she raised us better than Literally. that. But stop it. Please. She did. What? We listen to MJ though, like very often in my oh. house. Like I, I feel like I'm I was very like I don't know. I mean I feel like everybody grows up knowing the MJ songs. Yeah. But 
Prince was played. Like yeah, was when sweet. he passed away, oh, I, I came home. Game. I was at Georgia State. It was me, my friend Ashley, you went to Gerald. State then? Yeah. So my my college experience was a little different. I worked a full time job and then I took classes in the evening. Oh, okay. Heard. But sometimes I would be on campus like, in the daytime. What? Yeah. I know. I know, Girl. but um, the day he passed, we were all in the plaza. And when I got home, I was like, y'all, my parents are going to take this very hard. Yeah. I got home. They were smoking cigars, drinking yak in the front of the house on the porch, not speaking. Yeah. There was no speaking. I was like, oh, they were hurt. It was really sad. Oh, my God. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. I remember that day so vividly. Just I was in the plaza. Well, it was like friggin i don't even know 2 p.m 3 p.m or something like that and yeah. everybody was like prince died i remember people just like yelling prince died prince died and i was like what what's crazy about? too at the time i was working at ticket alternative and it was when he was about to do his show exactly. at the fox yes and so all of <laughs> yes. that happened and i was like because my mom was like you need to give me a ticket like i need to have I'm a yelling. ticket <laughs> and i was like oh I, girl i can't like i them tickets gone right. i'm so sorry mom, and then that happened tickets. it was just very hard oh my god yeah. she took That's it crazy. hard crazy Oh my gosh. Yeah. I love Prince. Prince was a very awesome. Again, so Prince. himself. I just champion people who are themselves because I feel like that takes a level of security and clarity yeah, about who you are, not yeah. what other people want you to be, what thoughts they impose on you. Right. Like, solid in self. Yeah. I live. Yeah. I live for all of your choices. They're ah, very see. excellent. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, this is Dead or Alive, and this is Kiana. Anything you want to say before we close this out? Uh, this is great. <laughs> I had a wonderful time, and thank you for having me. That was so sweet. Anything you want to tell the people? I like when people give comments to the interwebs. Mm. Um, be yourself. Yes. Yeah, and be kind to people. Thank you. Yeah. Literally. That's it. Be that's all I got. People be yourself. Be because... Okay, now I'm not going to go into it because the world is full of love and joy and peace and harmony. Exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. Yep. All right. Thank you guys so <laughs> much for watching. Again, this is Dead or Alive. Um, my name's Taylor Two Wavy, and we're done. Yay. Goodbye.